Hello guys and welcome to a new season or a new series on a brand new map. This is um what is the name of this? Shamrock Shamrock Valley, I think. Literally just loaded the game up. Uh but this is the new uh Southern Island map. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um so we're gonna try and make a little series out of this if there's enough interest for it. Um, so basically the story is, we uh, sold our last farm, we've moved to Ireland, and we've bought ourselves some basic kit, and the uh, the dream's going to be to bring up, uh, to manage livestock, and just farm the fields and uh, enjoy ourselves along the way really. Um, so without further ado, we have got, well hello, don't mind me. Um, one thing I will say though, the traffic on this map is absolutely savage. They, uh, yeah, they've already tried to overturn my combine about six times, but the combine is over in field three. So as you can see, we own three uh, field three, four, five, seven, oh, six and seven. But that the six and seven, I think they're a, a sheep pasture, and we've got thirty-eight and sixteen. You start off with 16 and 38, but we've purchased the other ones. The uh, fields are not massive, so therefore they are quite cheap. But uh, speaking of cheap, talk is cheap. Let's go over to the combine and get it set up. We've got manual attaching switched on. Now, did I just attach that or detach it? I don't know. Uh, engine and we are uh, I've just invested in a G29 steering wheel setup so it's gonna be pedals joystick steering wheel so you're probably gonna get to see me crashing quite a lot but that's why I do this to entertain I'm normally over on Twitch my channel link will be in the description and I'd love to see you over there but I thought I'd uh, do a single player series on a new map. And if I do go quiet, do forgive me. I tend to uh, not ramble very well. So you're going to see me uh, swaying to and fro. I've turned the HUD off for the second. I'm going to use workers absolute minimum, because obviously the idea of seeing, watching someone is seeing them do the work. But we will use um, worker occasionally. Um, Swarf is on, we can use the uh, bells. So let's get on with it. There may be a time lapse in there, here or there. But we'll get the headlands done first. Oh, then attach the PTO. There we go. We should be happy now. Uh, let's get uh, let's get harvesting. So yeah, it's a very different experience using the steering wheel and pedals. But you know what? It is absolutely amazing. The control you get. As long as you're not going too fast, is is amazing. Um, I hope that little uh, banner stroke overlay is not too much on the screen. I, I think it's perfectly sized, so you don't see. Uh, let me just. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Let me let me just see if I've got pipe out. On there we go. I had it mapped to my keyboard. It's always nice without the HUD on. And if this series does well, I just want to know if people would be interested in a wheel cam view. Maybe. But uh, we'll get this one done in this episode and maybe get it bowed. 
I don't quite know how we're going to work this series. Um, any suggestions, please feel free to uh, pop them in the comments. I'll try my best to answer any comments as long as they're uh, constructive and not completely silly. So what we'll do it this way, you get a bit of a better view. Um, just stop a minute, I mean, look, look at that. We're going to get a screen of that, I think. There we go. It's a stunning map, it really, really is. I've been anticipating this map coming out for a long, well, for about three weeks now. I think Daggerwin actually uh, put a preview video up a couple of weeks back, maybe three weeks now. But a uh, massive shout out to Daggerwin. He is, uh, he was the, he was the gentleman that got me into this game. I never. Never in a million years could you have told me uh, I'd be playing Farming Simulator 17 and absolutely loving it. And I am very excited for 19 coming out. Roll on 20th of November. I haven't pre-ordered it yet because I'm not sure what version I'm going for. The one off Amazon is a CD and I'm not uh, on a disc and I'm not too happy about discs. I think discs are obsolete now. But yeah. Roll on 20th of November. But hopefully you guys like this series because I would love to make uh, as many episodes as we need. As long as there is interest in it, we will continue doing it. I think we're going to just swing this round. And we'll run lengthways up the field, I think. And these fields are quite small to what I'm uh, used to recently. I've been playing um, uh, Lone Oak on multiplayer uh, on Twitch with some of my followers. And, uh, yeah, some of the fields there are quite large. However, when you're on your own, it is best... I shouldn't have done that. I should have let the swarf uh, drop out neatly. Never mind. When you're on your own, it pays to just... Uh, a couple of hectares is quite sufficient. Especially when we're trying to do a series out of it, because I don't want to use workers that much. But the only time we will use workers, I think I mentioned it before, but I'll say it again because my memory's like a sieve, is if we've got something pivotal we've got to get on with and the farm's going to be held up with it. So, for instance, I've cut uh, grass and I've ted it and it's it's just laying there and I, yeah, I've got to get it up or there's bales to be collected or whatever. Anything the bot can't do, I will do. Because, let's be honest, this is why people join streams and watch YouTube videos, to watch the person do it and not let the bots do it. Maybe if we had really large fields, I would uh, I'd do one combine and we'd hire another combine for a worker. But there's no need. We are here. I am here. So we shall crack on and get it done. And hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. So I think we're going to go to a time lapse now. Oh, that's a wall. So yeah, I think we'll go to a time lapse now hopefully, and I will see you guys in a little while. Enjoy.
final pass. It was unfortunate we couldn't get that in the uh, in one pass, but that is uh, that is life. Let's just put the uh, hard back on. So almost a full grain tank from one one reasonable size field. Well, it's a couple of hectares. Four, five, and four, five, six, and seven. I think they've just got grass in them. Let's uh, pipe out and let's go get a trailer. What one we got? That's our dedicated baler tractor. Um, come in. Hello, Eeyore. Your... Say hello to Eeyore. You get a little uh, donkey running around like a lunatic. Take this one. I think this is the CVX. Should have enough uh, horsepower to pull this. Just hook him up. Oh, keep forgetting I've got to use the uh, no PTO on that. It's silly. Right. Let's see if we can get there without any civilians smashing into us. Right. Like that chap there. First and foremost, where we got to go. So it's left out of there, then right. There's no... Okay. Hard off. Here we go. Hopefully there won't be any accidents. But we're gonna we'll utilize the middle of the road unless a civilian comes in. There's no point uh getting in the bush. Junction's a little bit iffy. I have to creep out. Left is good. Right is good. We are away. Oh, see, he would have. Yeah, see, they don't. They don't slow down in any way, shape, or form. And once they get lodged on you, that is it. You've got to turn traffic off because you can't. Because they go into you full tilt, and yeah. Bit ridiculous. Oh, don't mind me. Oh, wait, is this? No, that's not my fault. And now I've got people behind me honking me. I'm busy. Shh. Have some patience, sir. Apparently it's a virtue. Just realised I should have brought the bowler over on follow me. Live and learn. Let's pull in here because I believe this is my fields. Let's just check. Yes it is, so we can go up here so our own little access road by looks of it. Which is always nice. Turn, turn the indicators off. Don't need them on. Yeah, 
like I said, we should have brought the baler over because we could have bailed it in this uh, in this video. So that's where that gate brings you out. That's pretty good. Don't get too close because the gate may swing outwards. No, it swings in. Fair enough. I'm in the gate. Nice, uh, nice bit of FPS lag there. Let's go and empty the combine. Don't want to take it back when it's uh, fully freighted. Because it affects the brakes apparently. And the brake pedal on this G29 is a little bit stiff and I don't really want to push it through the floor. So while we wait, we will... Shall unfold the header. And do the PCO. Attach it ready for transport. She's ready for transport. Get the tractor out of the way. Get that rigged up and ready to go. I may actually put that down on the uh, down on the access road for the time being. Right, so let's uh, let's just attach this. It's going to be snug, little nudge, just a wee bit of scuffing. Not a problem. hooked up and off the field. It needs to be closer. Which does why wouldn't it? There we go, we are all hooked up. So we are yeah, we'll just put this down the access road I think. Because I'm not sure what we're gonna do with it. I don't know if we've got another field nearby. I believe we have actually or oh, it's gonna be tight. Breathe in. Good chance of getting hung up here, I think. Don't get hung up on the gate. Yeah, there we go. We'll just pull over on the side here. This is our land, so we won't be in anyone's way but our own. Shut the engine off. Shut the beacons off. Now we need to go and get the uh, the baler tractor. And we'll take this back over there. We're using the uh, the Kuhn LSB 1290D from the DLC. Put the beacons on, and we're away again. Really, 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 really should have uh, used the follow me mod to get this over there. But it's the first episode of a new series, so we can be forgiven. Maybe. And we're using a Vulture S series as our dedicated bail attractor with a bail pusher on the front. That was close. See if we can reach that lucky this time. Apparently not. Oh, right side seems busy. See what why? Why have you why have you stopped there, you fool? Oh that was close. Oh stop it. See? <laughs> 
the AI is that stupid, it just got blocked by another AI. Under the pretty uh, railway bridge now. Then up our access road. And we shall get to Bailin. We'll get these bowled and then we'll probably collect the bowels and uh, do all sorts of interesting things with them at the start of the next episode. So I want to keep these reasonably short. About 20, 25 minutes, maybe. So there will be a few time lapses. If you don't like the time lapses, please let me know and I'll consider leaving it raw footage. But uh, yeah, I don't think everyone wants to sit around watching up and down, up and down all day. Right, so unfold the beast. Lower and turn on. All right, so we'll do a little bit and have a chat before we uh, all the time lapse again, just so you don't have to suffer watching you go round and round and round. Do you know what? I don't think this is as quick as the uh, the New Holland, but there we go. We own it now, so we're going to have to swallow it. So I will see you in a moment. little bits. I missed quite a bit over there. Uh, got a bit wobbly with my wheel. But these will do for the first uh, first few cows we own at some point. But we're going to have to do a bit of silage at some point. Maybe a bit of logging just to get some money. I know we've got equipment but we're going to have to buy seed and fertiliser. We've got three fertiliser states. We want to absolutely maximise our chances of getting uh, good profits. We could sell this um, wheat or barley from this field, but uh, I don't know if that's going to be worth much at the moment. I don't even know where the sell points are. 
We'll get these last few bits of swarf off the ground. Get as much of the straw up as we can. I'm really enjoying this bow pusher mod. Uh, it really does help stop getting the bows getting stuck under you and lifting you up like a jack. But I've actually been tinkering around with the timings of the uh, vanilla square bow auto loader. So uh, you'll get a sneak peek of that in the uh, next episode. I've actually done a video. Um, showing you the timings and the link to it it's basically just uh, the XML has been sped up that was my first attempt but I think it was uh, a pretty good one right so what well, we're not going to split hairs over the little bits we'll just turn them in with the drill when we come up here get this last pile here not got enough to make another bell, that's for sure. So we shall now turn it off, force unload. Fold this bad boy up. And again, I think we'll just use, utilize the access road until we know what we're doing. And what fields are in what order and what's ready to harvest. I think we've got another uh, field. We'll have a look. We'll have a look at the map. Park that. Turn the engine off, turn the beacons off. So, yeah, we've got field number one just off of uh, Gypsy Hill there. Uh, 39. Bit strange, 39's out of bounds for me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so next time we will probably be um, harvesting the barley in field one. Um, we're gonna have to do a bit of mowing to get a bit of silage done. We won't do too much, but we need to get a few, a few quid under our belt or a few euros. Is it euros? No, nope, dollars. It's in dollars. Um, turn that down. We don't want that sped up just yet. Um, and then we'll look to get some uh, some animals in. May do a bit of logging to get some pennies, but uh, we'll see. But um, for now, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you like this series, and I hope we can take it further. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Take care. Goodbye.